Yeah, I mean, I, I spoke about this recently on ITV and Channel 5, and it's something that I'm hugely passionate about. And I actually think the one piece of advice I can give anyone that is suffering from any form of mental health is to speak openly about it and actually don't underestimate your ability to make a change in somebody's life. It doesn't matter whether you talk about it once, twice, 55 times or a thousand times. It's so important. Every little detail can honestly make such a change in an individual's life. And the reason why I say this, three years ago, I hit rock bottom. My self-worth was non-existent to the point where I was taking my life, or I was going to take my life. And something in that moment stopped me from doing it. And the reason why I'm so passionate about this now is when you think there is nothing to live for, I'd like to think that I'm one of those individuals that can prove to you that there is. Three years later, after having no self-worth, I now am in a relationship with the most beautiful girlfriend. I have a baby daughter who's 11 months. I've just started my own business and I've just had a series commissioned connected to the mental strength of, of humanity in general. So don't for one second ever doubt yourself and please, please reach out for support. Well said. Jeremy. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to reiterate what, what JP said. I, I, again, I'm very glad that we can talk about it because when I suffered and I did actually have an attempt on my own life, which there we go, but it didn't, I panicked at the last minute and managed to get myself better. I spoke to, I used the Samaritans actually to speak to. They were very, very helpful for me. And it is, I do think that the talking, the sharing aspect is the most important thing. I do think that this is where males, we... You didn't feel like you could call me? No, I, I didn't, didn't at the time. The no, well, this was... 14 years ago so I wasn't um, and yeah it was a very I didn't feel like I could call my family I didn't you just get it's all now like JP I can't even imagine but at that point in time I genuinely couldn't lift my head and I couldn't see anything but blackness and actually by speak, speaking to the Samaritans it helped me there are other charities out there that do wonderful work but I think it is that sharing it's that thing that blokes don't do you know yeah, you just don't do it if I may uh, uh, Mark Rowland uh, director of Mental Health Foundation morning Mark um, can I start with the big question, first of all, why do you think so many men decide to end it all? Well, Matthew, so it's fantastic we're covering the issue. And, you know, 55,000 people across the European Union, two every hour are committing suicide. So it is a massive issue. And it's not just that it's the leading cause of men under 49. It's actually, it's the leading cause of all deaths of young people between the ages of five and 34. Wow. That is the scale of the problem. If this was happening for any other reason or phys physical conditions that were leading to deaths of this rate, there would be a public outcry. And we need the same rates of serious interventions that we're seeing with, with cancer and heart disease and apply them in, on this issue of suicide. You've had personal experience? That's right. Uh, about just under four, four years ago, uh, just, just over four years ago, my brother uh, Daniel took his own life. Okay. Uh, he was Sorry. in a psychiatric hospital at the time he'd been suffering from depression uh, and he was in the hospital and they gave him day release they actually gave him the means uh, to take his own life or allowed him to take his own life and um, uh, a bit like what JP was saying and, and Jeremy once you've once your eyes are open to that, it's actually trying to say what we can see on the outside is just a fraction of what living's all about. We've got to be able, from a younger age, to be able to get underneath the skin of what's really going on. Forgive me, but JP's saying, you know, talk to people. Your brother went to mental health services. My friend went to mental health services. Neither uh, had a happy outcome as a result. And I'm worried... I've said this many times on the show, I'm worried that maybe mental health is being too stretched by too many people with too many trivial problems and actually serious people, serious cases, and maybe not getting the attention they deserve. That, that may be the case. I mean, he, my, my brother got good care, but actually the key thing, Matthew, is it was years before. It was in the expectations right. that he grew up with, that for him, being a man was winning, being successful. He, he internalised that because he felt he was a failure, he said to me, last time he spoke to me, he said, I've fallen into a hole and I can't get out of it. He experienced that, that, that darkness. And so I think it's about that cultural shift much earlier on than just focusing on the services. Because by the time it gets to crisis, we, it's, it's already often, often too late.